Okay, this next Saber unboxing is brought to us courtesy of Okay, so I have another unboxing and uh, this is from a company that I've, I've bought a lot of Sabres from uh, They're an Etsy store and they're called custom diversions and they're one of my favorite go-to's um, those guys Ivan and Andrew uh, have always treated me well and they've done so again and essentially what I have today is um, kind of a I guess you call it a mystery saber because um, they wanted me to review a saber they said pick something off of my site or our site and I said you know what just why don't you just throw something together for me you know just just make it a complete surprise right across the board um, I think that would be a lot of fun and uh, so that's what they did and uh, so I have that right here and uh, yeah, it's a big box. No, it is not from Amazon. It is not. But um, <sighs> one has to reuse material. Yeah, I must admit, I haven't been buying as many sabers from these guys because I've been sampling the fruits of some of these other companies out there. There's some pretty amazing uh, companies, and one must spread themselves around a little bit you know and uh i'm i'm, I'm kind of becoming more uh, in tune with the uh the, the the companies that produce unique one-off hilts and um i'm sort of getting a little bit away from the lgt scene i'm definitely sort of off the uh the ultra sabers bandwagon um and uh, I, I, I like, I'm starting to, thanks to uh, the influence of certain friends of mine who uh, can probably, uh, you know, attest to the fact that they've, they've had an influence on me. Uh, my uh, sabers have been getting a little bougier. <laughs> so, that's a lot going on in this package. This, this is a box. Why is there a box? There's a box. Okay box interesting okay so it came in a box so russian doll time so we got that box and then we have a box of them bugs okay uh yeah Ooh, it looks like they're upping their game now they've been doing a bunch of other stuff uh like um well, i can't think of all everything that they've been doing one of the things they uh they did was uh they, uh, I, well, I bought a wand from them. My wand came from Custom Diversions. I love my wand. Everyone needs a wand. If you don't have a wand, you need to get a wand. Go to Custom Diversions. Get yourself a wand. Seriously. For the price, you can't go wrong. Uh, it was, it's an amazing piece. Uh, they sent me a stand for the wand, which I think I uh, showed in a, in a post because, you know, it wasn't enough to, to do a video of. And then they sent me a stand, which I'm using for my... Uh, one of the custom sabers that um, Andrew made for me called the jar uh, sigil and uh, that's on my mantelpiece right over there and again I posted about that and I love it's like a unique kind of smell to uh to the I don't know maybe that's weird but <laughs> to the sabers that come from uh, custom diversions but check this out like getting into the boxes this is sort of the same type of box that my uh my wand came in i like it yes they are upping their game i'm i don't really do excited <laughs> i'm kind of like no matter how excited i get i don't really get excited it's really weird but i am for me this is excited i've been really looking forward to this all day long i just i <clears throat> No idea what's in this box. Oh, all right, let's do this. Oh my! Oh wow! <laughs> wow! This is cool. This is really cool. I know. I know one. Um, one guy in particular that's probably going to appreciate this. Look at this thing. Uh, okay. It's a bit on the big side, but what do you see here? 
Let me see. Do, 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 do. Wait a minute, how do I do this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Uh, interesting, interesting action on the uh, on the pommel there. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a it's a beefy thing, <laughs> but I like it. This, well, okay, so this is the this is the switch here. That's the switch, Greeble Greeble. I, I kind of actually have the lights really low here. The cameras tend to um, <laughs> not need too much lights, but not need too much lights, not need too much light. Uh, so, I don't know, you could probably see this better than I can right now. So it's a little bit of rivet action there, or something, little greeblies. And, uh, oh wow. That's interesting, it looks like there's a blade plug in there. I'm assuming that's a blade plug. Why? It's funny because this is like it, this is a big boy, but it's really comfortable in the hand. So it makes such a big boy. Now, I'm hoping there's tools in here because I don't have all the requisite tools that on hand that are needed for uh, one of their hills. This box, it's like you can see, it's all padded out, and I don't feel. I don't feel any tools in here, so I think I'm gonna have to go grab some. Hell, I don't even have a blade. <laughs> wow. I don't even have a blade. Let's see if I can find the requisite kit, so uh, I'm gonna pause this and uh, see what I can find. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I, I have the uh, a big bag of tools that usually work in a JQ Saber uh, size hilt. Should cover all the bases, I would think. And I have a uh, extra Saber Forge blade here of the 32 inch variety. Let's see. Um, <laughs> and uh, I just added some light. And now it's uh, kind of occurring to me, it's weird, but uh, it almost seems like I need a, a flathead screwdriver to get get the uh, get the splay plug out of here. It's a little bit unusual. I was expecting to uh, require a, hmm, require a, 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 a hex wrench, but uh, such is not the case. So, uh, guess what? I get to pause here for a I... Gosh! Alright. <laughs> I'm going for the world record for uh, edits in one of my videos. Okay, so... The flattest flathead that I have. Can I get the head of the... The bit, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Can I get that thing out here and hold it? Maybe. <laughs> no. I haven't even watched Bad Bash yet. I can't believe I'm going to win more. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully this uh, screwdriver will be enough gun to get the job done, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think this little uh, leather section here. This looks pretty bad. It's not actually. I got some light. Wow, this is really neat. And, okay. Focus. Focus. Cat's back. Wondering why I'm not done. Yes, I'm doing two unboxings in a row. It's a very heavy day of unboxings. All right, is that enough? Yes, it is enough. All right, so blade plug. Very interesting uh, steel constructed blade plug. Uh, the cool thing about uh, which one? Which end is the? One? Because, I don't know, I don't remember. Seems like I can use it either way. It's like a 
Like a two-sided blade book. Man, that's pretty badass. That's really cool. I like that. Now, uh, custom diversions, they do use uh, lithium-ion 18650 batteries uh, in their hilts. So that is rad. Because that means that these things go and go and go. And then when they don't feel like going anymore, it keeps going. Yeah. Totally kick ass. And I have no idea what the uh, LED color in this uh, in this thing is. It was a pretty straight line. Uh, not too bad. Okay. Let's tighten you up. Just a bit. Yeah, you're gonna need a bigger screwdriver to get this really tight in this as I like it. That's actually like I don't know if you can see inside inside his there's a yeah you can see it. There's a copper section holding the, uh, the blade hold. There's, there's really a lot going on in here. There's a lot of detail as far as, uh, there's a lot of nuance. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. Uh, oh, now that, now that light's no good. Let's turn this off. There we go. All right, that helps a little bit, a tiny bit. Just a skosh. All right, let's see what blade color we have. Oh, okay. I think that it's blue. I was thinking it might be UV, but this to me looks straight up blue. And um, I don't mind that because blue is my color. Blue is my blade color. I do. Uh, I do love red. You know, some people they 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 really really go for the green, the purple. Me. I've had to admit the, the simple fact of uh, who I am, and uh, that is uh, I am a guardian uh, blade color. It's just my nature. I sway between that and, uh, and the dark side to a degree, which is why I feel perfectly comfortable and at ease with red. But uh, I must admit, blue is my jam. And uh, although it's heavy, whoop, <laughs> and I turned it off. And I can only see is the, here's the uh, switch. It's kind of a, um, what do you call it? Not an anti, when the anti vandal switch, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a clickety clackety switch. I wish I had a bit more of a, recessed thing going on here because I'm bound to have a lot of misfires this is going to turn off and on on me but this is this is definitely two-handed this is a this is a beast of a saber have to come up with a name for this thing well obviously it's going to be Batman themed <laughs> if I had more energy I could do my Joker impression right now but I don't know if I could pull it off do you think mm, I, I don't think I I just don't think I have it in me right I don't have it in me <laughs> okay Almost, I almost got there. Yes, mm. the Joker will come out when the Joker decides. No, that's not right. It's not right. It's just not there, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tried. My brain, my brain. It's just not functioning. So anyway, um, yeah. So this thing, this thing's gonna need a. a I just, well, the name seems pretty uh, simple. I mean, I know it has a Batman symbol on it, but this thing is, I don't know, I'm just thinking 
Arkham Asylum, but it's not really Arkham Asylum because if it was Arkham Asylum, then it wouldn't have the Batman symbol on it. And I just don't want to call it my Batman symbol. Um, I could call it my, my lightsaber orang. <laughs> I, I don't know. What shall I call you? Hmm. Well, I'm sure I'll think of something at some point, and uh, I'm open to suggestions in the comments. Just uh, just be creative. Sometimes <laughs> people think they're being creative, but they're uh, they're not being all that creative. <laughs> you think you are being creative, creative, but you are not. <laughs> almost, almost got it. I really like this blue. It's like this should be, should be a thing. Just like illuminate everything with blue. Yes, it's a blue movie. No, it's not that kind of movie. I think I'm going to wrap this up now before I get in trouble. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, so this is my uh, uh, a mystery box from, uh, again, sorry about the camera moving, from Custom Diversions. I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. This is a pretty neat little, uh, pretty, pretty neat little beast of a saber. So, um, yeah, uh, as far as Custom Diversions go, they have a, a slew of really, really cool Hilts on their um, on their Etsy store website. I'll put the link uh, down below in the description. And um, some of them, um, I'm actually, if I had the money right now, because I've been too bu too busy buying other things, and I'm in saving mode. But if I had the money, uh, th there's definitely at least like two or three that I would I like to pick up a little bit smaller variety of uh, sabers. But um, I'm not knocking this at, at all. Um, so yeah, uh, I definitely recommend checking out their site. Everything that they do is, uh, is custom made. Um, they do series of sabers, uh, like the, what is it called? The star flare, something to that effect, but each one's different. It has its own, uh, kind of has its own unique character. So it's, it's not really one offs, but it kind of is one offs and you can pick your blade color and and you know they're they're they're, they're basically stun sabers but if you ask them if you if you talk to them they can do an install i don't know exactly what the limit of the installs they uh, they currently are doing are i mean i have a nano biscotti in one i have a pico crumble in another and then a bunch of stun sabers so you know you get the general idea of, of you know the, the level of installs but it, it's it's quite possible that they might be able to do a you know, a, like a higher end board, like a CFX. I'm, I'm not too sure about profit, but you have to ask them. So uh, if you go to their FC store and you message them and you can get a custom saber done. So if you want like a, I've got a really cool um, fallen order saber from them. I haven't seen one on their, their site, but I imagine you can get a, a really good quality fallen order. That would take dueling anywhere. I'd really, uh, I, it, it's a solid piece of kit and uh, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a decent quality product, and you can go wrong. So, uh, I got, I got a, a ton of reviews of their products. So, if you want to see what they're all about, you can just like go into my back catalog and look up custom diversions, and chances are you're gonna see something that uh, will probably be, uh, um, you know, it might tickle your fancy. Anyway, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm gonna wish everyone a uh, wonderful um, weekend. Yeah, wonderful weekend. Just have a good weekend. Stay safe. Don't, don't do anything crazy, but I mean, you know, if the weather's nice, then, then uh, do something crazy. Um, as you're, uh, as you're watching this, I'm probably still in New York myself doing something crazy. I'm sure maybe, uh, maybe drink a little bit with my friend, maybe getting a little bit, uh, a little bit shocked. I don't know. Anything's possible. So that's it. May the force be with you and <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care now, and goodbye.